Hi Rupert, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our putting lesson today. So I can see here the swing on the left, we, there's a different grip here, but we're going back to your claw grip or seesaw grip. Um, but we can see here as you take the club away, the very first move, that putter moves drastically inside that black line and quite a long backstroke for a short putt. And then on the way through, you're going to have to manipulate that and you're going to see here as you come through to impact now, Actually, as you make contact, one, we can see the putter head is aiming left, um, but you're pulling across the ball, so you're going to hit it out of the toe of the putter, as we can see there. And look how left that putter finishes off this solid black line on the mat. Okay, So it's a bit manipulated. Rather than just going back and forth on a straight line, it goes two inside this way, two inside that way, and then you're trying to you know, hold the face open on the way through, but it's all a little bit too late and things get a bit wonky from there we can see the putter head comes through and then it really twists open again uh, so we did quite a lot of work on that but then when we came to practice or we spent probably 10 minutes on that and then we came to hit some putts as we can see on the right if I draw a line in line with your putter try and draw that perfectly okay that's not not terrible uh, we can see here as you go to take the putter away look it goes still a little bit inside and then once it's gone inside, Rupert, we can already see, look at where the face is pointing. You know, it's a very different line now. That's now pointing miles right at the hole. And then when you come down, you're going to have to come back inside that red line. So when you come to impact, look at the putter. Again, now he's pointing in a different position. So we can now see that's pointing that way, the orange line. So the red line is set up. The yellow line is the way where you get to the top of your backswing and the orange line is impact. So they're just all a little bit all over the place and that's just where we need to get the putter working back and forward in a straight line, Rupert. And again, if I get rid of all of those lines, I'll keep them lines there for the moment. You can see the putter's going on that orange line and even left of it, where we want to get that putter staying on that red line. It's a long way away from there. So work hard on that. And again, if we just have a look at impact, I'll get rid of these lines. I mean, look where you're making contact with the ball. It's literally at the toe of the putter. So even though we've got a nice mallet and weight back face balance putter, it's not really going to work too good hitting it that far out of the toe. So, and you was holding a few like this. I mean, I think this one actually went in, and we can see it's tracking. But we want to we want to get it a little bit more stable and perfect. So work hard on this left screen with that gadget. Put some T pegs in. Uh, if you're not going to get that gadget, I'm going to send you the link. You know, just put a couple of clubs along there nice and tight lines or a couple of big books you know one either side of going back and then one you know a couple on the inside like that just tr we've got to get that putter going up and down the line a bit more neutral longer putts Rupert you just got to stroke it longer you tend to keep the same length stroke and then and then uh, hit it harder rather than actually lengthen the stroke so work on that and we'll see some uh, huge improvements thanks Rupert